Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to what we've all been waiting for here. Gran Turismo 7 is finally here. This is going to be our first episode of a full, I believe, 100% Let's Play. I mean, I'm going to try to. Uh, starting up the game has been an experience so far. I already got to drive because the game was like, ah, you get to go straight into the music rally mode, and you have to do it. I was like, and I was trying to just record the intro video, and I never got the intro video still. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually turn my face off here, uh, and we're going to head to the world map to start our Let's Play of GT7. Oh, and our nickname. Okay, um, I mean, no, wait, I don't want capitals. T-E-S-T-D-R-I-V-E. -E. Done. Remaining changes allowed for. Uh, race prize money is not affected. I'll keep it on normal. Fuck yeah. Alrighty, so there's the intro video finally out of the way. Now I can finally edit that and actually upload it because I want to upload it as quick as possible because I want to... Oh, hello, Sarah. Hi, you must be Test Drive. Are you ready for your new adventure? I sure as shit am. That intro video, not gonna lie, got me hyped. Uh, it'll be a separate video, so if you want to see it, uh, check out the playlist on the channel or description or something. I don't know. Nice to meet you. My name is Sarah, the guide on, in the world of Gran Turismo. Let me start by asking you. Have you ever traveled the world of Gran Turismo before? I sure as shit have. In the Gran Turismo 7 world, there are things that have remained unchanged from the previous versions. And then there are more things we've never before seen. This all involved driving fast and winning races, not to mention collecting cars and learning about the deep history of the automobile. Test drive, let's get out there and explore this rich new world of Gran Turismo. First of all, you need a car, of course. There's a used car dealer that offers cars at reasonable prices, so let's go check that out. Test drive, let's go to the used car dealer. Hell yeah, I love used car dealership. Hi, you must be on your first trip out. My name is Andy and I'm on the, the owner of this dealership. Nice to meet you. Right now, this is a lineup of cars we have in stock. Andy, could you give Test Drive some advice on picking a first car? Okay, no problem. When choosing a car, pay attention to the PP, heh, <laughs> pay attention to the PP, as well as looks and price. PP stands for performance points, not the other PP, and indicates how fast the car is. I'm sorry. It's expressed by a numerical value that gives you an overall indicator of a car's performance. This includes air engine power, aerodynamics, handling, among other things. Higher PP is, the faster and stronger the car. Since you're just starting out on your adventure, it'll be good to start out with a Japanese compact car. Of all the cars in stock now, that would be these three. The Honda Fit, the Toyota Aqua, the Mazda Demio, any of these will serve you well. So we do have to pick one of the... It's... Oh God, I love this so much already. You can make your choice based on PP or design. You're free to choose whichever one you like. So, um, we're basically giving... Oh, we actually have like point... Things. Huh, that's interesting. Like 349.25 on the PP on that one. Um, so we have the Mazda Demio. Touring from 2015. Uh, it's got 14,000 miles on it. It does have a turbo, which is nice. 12.5. The most expensive one is the Toyota Aqua, which is a mini Prius, I think. I think it's a hybrid. Naturally aspirated. Higher mileage. Blah, blah, blah. The Honda Fit hybrid. 19,000 miles and naturally aspirated. You know what? Out of all of these, I think I'm going to go with the Mazda. We can add stuff to wishlist too, which is cool. We'll go ahead and purchase our Mazda here. Our current balance is 1.1 million because I have things. Oh, we got a little cutscene here. Hell yeah, we got car collector points. Next target is 30 points. We're at 12 so far. So, once I actually get a chance to, I'd like to say some things, but maybe that'll be later. When you buy a car, you gain collector points in accordance with its price or value. 
So the more collector points you have, the higher your collector level will be. The collector level reflects your rank as a card collector. So buy lots of cards and raise your collector level. I see you've picked out your first car. Congratulations. So, Test Drive, this will be your first car. Wow. Once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your new car. So, let's go over some things real quick. One, Gran Turismo 7. Hell yeah, let's go. Uh, but of course, I am actually playing this on a PlayStation 5 as well. We are playing the quote-unquote better version of it. And I guess we get to go see our garage. Garage is now open. Okay, Test Drive, let's go to your garage. And, uh, I heard he got one gold. That's the fucking used car dealership again. Somehow I went to the used car dealership again. Uh, there we go, to our garage. Um, I need to go to settings. Is there a settings? This is a garage, a place to store your car collection. This is your home base where you can switch cars, change settings, or just take time to admire your collection. You can also turn in tickets to win, or tickets you win in races here, and receive bonus items as well. Ooh. Once you've checked everything out, let's head to the cafe next. So yeah, um, there's all of our information. We can change our car, we can change the car settings, which of course is all of our upgrades. Change the settings of your car you're currently driving. If you change your settings and select measure, you will be able to see the changes in performance on the window to the left. The settings you made can be, ch whatever. Once you've saved your settings in the settings sheet, you can open them later at any time. Use the menu button on the upper right to add new sheets or make duplicate sheets. You can learn more in the Beyond the Apex web magazine. It's accessible in, via the GT menu at the top left, so be sure to take a look. Uh, I'll go over more of this in the future uh, because I kind of want to just get to the good shit, you know? Uh, we have the escapes movies, gifts, tuning parts, car collection. This is your car collection. I was interested in this one. Here every car you've ever owned will be recorded. It means the car collection serves as a history of your car collection. Wow. Collect lots of new cars to add to your collection. Wow. Cool. So we'll have a look at all of this stuff more in depth later on. But let's go ahead and back up real quick. I also don't want to have an hour long first episode of this game. So oh, the classic music. Cafe is now open. Now, can I change... Yes, I can change options. I simply was going to change... What am I doing? Sound volume. Uh, menu BGM, play race BGM. What I want to do... Race sound. Maybe I'll just do off on the race BGM. I don't want to get copyrighted, basically. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to at some point during this, but that'll be that whenever it happens. We'll worry about all that later. I was just wanting to get my basics out of the way. But let's go to the cafe, a place for car enthusiasts. Cafe shrouded in the woods. This is a special place where people who love cars, including car designers. I didn't get to read all that. There will also be menus, special menus for... Let me read this! I didn't even have a chance to read it myself, let alone say it. Hi, Luca. So you test drive, you starting out on a new adventure, right? Hell yeah, I am. My name is Luca, the owner of this cafe. We not only serve food and drinks here, but also provide special menu books for exploring this world. The menu book contains hints and objectives for enjoying car collecting and racing. Once you complete one menu book, I'll have another ready for you. Let's start by choosing your first menu book. All right. Collection, Japanese compact cars. And this is the one that we saw actually in the, one of the, the official media things. Uh, if you learn more, first menu prepared for you is all about collecting Japanese compact cars. Your goal is to simply acquire the three cars listed on the menu. You may have one or two of them already, but your work's not done until you've collected all three. You can receive the cars as rewards for your performances in certain world circuits races. An orange compass icon will guide you to the races where cars you require can be won. Be sure to come back to the cafe once you've collected all three cars. Good luck! And I guess we'll go ahead and start. We got another trophy. Collection Japanese compact cars. I feel like there was something else I was going to say about this, but I completely forgot. Oh, I already got a gold medal. Um, because of the, the whole music rally thing. Alright, what do we got next? World Circuits is now open. Showcase is now open. All right, 
So, uh, compete at racetracks around the world. I don't actually know specifically how the career mode in this game works. I haven't watched anything, by the way. This is my first time ever experiencing this game uh, outside of the official media that we've seen from this for up to this point. Uh, so, discovery plays and photos from drivers around the world. I'm not really interested in that. So, we'll go to the World Circuits. And, um, available circuits. 1 out of 9, 1 out of 15, and 1 out of 10. Uh, Northern Isle, Nor Norvitz. It says there's no race events taking place at the moment. There is a little icon, though. We have the Sunday Cup! I guess, I guess, is it? So we have arcade race, circuit experience, time trial, drift trial, and a custom race we could do. And a meeting place? I don't know exactly what that is. Is the Sunday Cup one race, or is it multiple races? Um, number of laps to number of cars is eight. You get 5,000 credits for completing it. Also, I like the, the classic music in here. I really appreciate that. Only road cars can be used, blah, blah, blah. We can change our car settings, which I kind of showed off. Um, rival cars are going to be the car I own and the two cars I could have bought otherwise. Actually, they're just Aquas, so they're not even the Honda. So I guess we will go ahead and get started on our Sunday Cup. We got two laps of this track, and there's all of our cars we're up against. We have a Copen and a Honda S660. Is that what that is? I think it is. Um, assist settings. I would like to switch to manual. Um, assist presets are on expert, of course. TCS, I'll turn that off. ABS. Um, I'll put on weak for now. Eh, fuck it. Let's just go to off. Auto drive off. We don't... I don't want driving line, because I'm a hardcore gamer. All of that's already off, and we'll turn that off as well. I'm going full gamer mode. Let's get started on our first race here. Technically. I technically already did a race, uh, but it's alright. So we have our first race here. And actually, it was a completely different UI and everything in the... Uh, the other weird race. Um, this may take me more than one of... Oh, jeez. Wow, the AI actually got out of my way. That's surprising. Ah, shit. But welcome to Gran Turismo 7. Uh, of course, we had our lead-up with the Road to the Next Gen Sunday Cup series that I was just doing, uh, which actually the GT Sport video just went up half an hour ago, so that gives you an idea of when I'm actually playing this. But yeah, welcome to Gran Turismo Sport. Of course, on the inside here, or... On the views, we have our interior view, our, our bumper cam, I don't know why I couldn't think of that, hood cam, or roof cam, as well as our exterior camera, our chase cam, which I'll probably end up using for most of this Let's Play. And, uh, oh god, didn't mean to hit you. It actually like just says Daihatsu Kopen, it doesn't actually have a name, which is interesting, above the car. Hmm. But we are already in first place. And uh, interesting things I have to say about the driving experience of this game so far is that the on the PS5, which I'm playing on as I mentioned, the triggers slash the R2 and L2, yeah, R2 and L2 buttons, triggers, I don't know, R2 and L2, they have like resistance when you're in a race. I didn't know that was a thing on PS5 controllers. But now I do, and now I'm feeling it. And it is quite interesting. Um, I don't know why it says something like ABS. I don't know. But I am super excited to get in this game. Uh, of course, I do want to do basically 100% let's play this game. Go big or go home, you know? Haha, we got the weather radar. I remember seeing something about that. That's cool as shit, honestly. And we got our times and the TCS in the bottom right there. There is a lot of force feedback coming through this controller right now. I like it. So I can actually turn traction control on in the middle of a race. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know if we'll have more races for our Sunday Cup. I... I don't know. I guess we'll see. These episodes may be kind of random and wacky, simply because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't have a plan. But... There we go, clean racer, trophy earned. I don't know how I got that. I hit a car at some point. Uh, no assistance required. 
I guess for not having assists on. And there we go. I got 7,500 credits for completing, I guess, the whole Sunday Cup. I don't know. Apparently my daily workout is 26 miles. And I did get the 25th anniversary edition of the game in physical form, too. And we have a Honda Fit hybrid now, which is fantastic. I've got a car. Wow. And our collector level has went up by 16, which is cool. And I guess we'll have uh, stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, look at the replay controls real quick. We can capture a thumbnail, which is cool. I do need a thumbnail for this video. Uh, replay options, which is info and car names. Uh, race photos. We can go ahead and behind 10 seconds, start from the beginning, change camera target, and hide the hide the menu. Oh, okay, so I can actually just take a photo. Like it's it's the, basically the same as uh, like GT5, which is nice. Uh, I do. I'm just gonna take a, a photo for a thumbnail here, real quick. I guess. A lot of photo settings, by the way. Yeah, 16 by 9. Let's go. Okay, that's good. Resolution is high. Alright, we shall shoot the photo. I'll turn my face off so I can get a clear view of it. For the thumbnail. And there we go. There's our first photo ever taken in Gran Turismo 7. And we will go ahead and, I guess, go on back and exit out of the replay real quick and see what happens after this. So we have a retry button, and that appears to be it. What's going to happen now? Do you have more stuff unlocked? But there we go. The GT Cup. Group 3. Hmm. Yes, thank you, PlayStation. My package did arrive, believe it or not. But there we go. There is our one race done. I'm going to actually see what this one is. It is the Sunday Cup. You know what? We'll do this too. Screw it. We will go ahead and do everything that I can find, at least, that is Sunday Cup related. This is going to be a lot longer video than I wanted it to be, but that's fine. If it's not processed to 4K by the time that it goes out... Oh well, I guess. What track is this now? I didn't pay attention close enough. But so far, a lot of this does kind of remind me of the little bit of sport that I've played. Um, particularly when I did the Sunday Cup in sport recently. AKA yesterday, for if you're watching this video... And the day it comes out, which is the day after the game came out, I think. Something like that. I don't know. We're going to have to figure this out. I don't know what's going to happen. But we'll go ahead and try and, uh, yeah, we'll try and finish up all of the Sunday Cup races. This is going to be very confusing to Let's Play, and it's probably going to be very confusing to watch and keep up with, but it just, it's what happens whenever you take a brand new game that you don't know anything about and try and let's play it, and you don't want to get spoiled, so you end up not watching other people play it, so you don't know what they did. <laughs> you know, you know, it happens. Looks like I am schmoovin'. Is that a Mazda Tenza? That is an Atenza. Oh, Jesus. I have made a mistake. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Do you have damage? I can't look to the left or the right of the car, which is kind of meh, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and tear you for a little bit. Our odometer does show 23,006 kilometers, which is fantastic. I will have to take a, uh, a fairly close look at a lot of the cars in this game and all their little individual quirks and aspects and things. Because, of course, I do. Come on, little turbo car. Little turbo, I can hear it. Oh, my God. The, the boost is so low on the gauge, on the, the, uh, on the UI. That's hilarious. There we go another first place. Now, is that all of the Sunday Cup? I have no idea. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. There's all our times. First. Another victory. Another five grand. Very nice. Another 2.3 miles added on to 
our stuff. And we got the Toyota Aqua, which means we have all three of our cars for our menu, cafe menu thing. <gasps> Leveled up. Whoa. Incredible. Yeah, there we go. Stored in the garage. And we will actually exit out of the replay here real quick if I can figure out how. There we go. So we hit the X button twice to exit out of the replay. Good to know. Another song I remember or recognize from an earlier GT game. Let's go back to the cafe. Okay. I'm gonna guess that was basically the Sunday Cup. I don't know. <laughs> Things will probably be very out of order and random. It's fine. And there we go. Student of Motoring History trophy earned. Very cool. Collection Japanese Compact Cars has been completed. Congratulations, you succeeded in getting all three cars. This completes this collection, and boy, have I got some stories to tell you about these cars. Let's talk later. Let's take a look at these cars and hear what Luca has to say about them. Listen carefully, it'll deepen your knowledge and just may lead to new discoveries. I've received a roulette ticket. What the hell's a roulette ticket? And we have the license center unlocked, so we can actually do our licenses. The game wants me to go in here, so I guess we'll go in here. This might be the last thing I do for this first episode, because like I said, it's getting a little bit longer. Well, it's actually not that long, to be fair. The term compact car is pretty self-explanatory. It refers to cars with shorter wheelbases and less spacious interiors. Their compact nature makes them quite agile, making them popular with new drivers. Japanese compact cars are famous for their technical prowess. For example, the diesel, diesel engine, the fourth generation Demio, is considered one of Mazda's true masterpieces. So my car is a turbo diesel. Huh. That's interesting. There's also the third generation Honda Fit Hybrid, which is the most fuel which was the most fuel efficient car in Japan when it was released. Very cool. Finally, there's a Toyota Aqua, another compact hybrid that boasts great fuel fuel efficiency and excellent handling. As you can see, many compact cars have ended up becoming all-time classics. Very cool. And there we go. Test yourself at the license center. New menu book acquired. So we will actually leave that alone for now. And like I said, since I think this is basically license center is now open. Uh, it's basically what well. That's the end of the Sunday Cup, I think. I, maybe, I don't know. Um, it looks like we might get, be getting a license in the next episode. But, for now, that will conclude our first episode of Gran Turismo 7. I guess before we go, we can go through our car collection here. Um, I've apparently collected seven cars. God, there's actually a bunch of cars. I have a 917? Living Legend? Apparently. We'll run through a little bit of this stuff before we get out of the game. Super GT500. Very cool. I think this is all from getting the 25th anniversary edition. We do have the Toyota Aqua, of course. The Fit. And our Demio. Very nice. I might make short little videos of these cars for a different channel, too. You just have to watch. We got the GR Yaris, which is cool. The Mazda RX Vision. Also very cool. And I think that might be it. Looks like it. Um, I guess we'll... These are your gifts. When you receive a roulette ticket, you can trade them in here. Exchange them for cars, parts, credits, etc. It'll be exciting to see what you get. Yo, I fucking love loot boxes. Let's go. Let's see what we get. So we have... Did we get the Scirocco? Oh, I guess I get the... I hit the X button. Oh, it's slowing down. I got an engine part, a camshaft, crankshaft, crankshaft. I got a racing crankshaft for a Honda Civic Type R FK2. Hmm. It has been stored in the tuning parts section of your garage. Okay. Maybe I'll have to pick up a 2015 Honda Civic Type R at some point. Huh. <sighs> but there we go. Now we are concluding our first episode of GT7. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode. 
of course, I'm going to try and keep up with this, try and keep maybe maybe one episode a day, maybe more, depending on if something gets short or something. Um, but we're going to make our way through this game, and I am super excited to finally get into a Gran Turismo game in general, let alone a brand new one. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.